and welcome back to my channel. So I kind of have, I'm using my phone obviously, and I have it sitting on like a snack tray. And on the snack tray I have all the stuff that I'm gonna talk to you about today on this video. And if you hear any clinking outside, my husband is working on the truck. So that will be that noise. Um, first, let me talk about my nails. I love my nails they are like screaming spring please come i am here for you i love them okay so i think we're going to start out with essential oils so i have and i will do like a whole nother in-depth video on essential oils but i literally have an entire like bin of of the oils and the wax warmers i have i cannot go one day without something burning in my house whether it's candles or wax warmers or oils i always have to have something that smells good but i found these three bad boys i found these on amazon and i think they're great either starters or even gifts they're amazing so this one is from barnhouse blue and it's called juicy fruit and there's 10 milliliter bottles inside this and there are how many are there there's two four six there's six in here and we have strawberry bubble gum peaches and cream blueberry apple and watermelon and they smell like true what you would imagine a watermelon smells like that's what this is i've gotten some brands where it's like like lavender lavender you can get from a million different companies and a million different brands and not all of them smell the same. To me, these smell true to what they're supposed to do. And I'm excited because on Amazon, you can't really smell before you buy it. So I'm excited for that. Then there's another one. And this one is Eternal Essential Oils. And this one is called Mysterious. This one I was very, um, I went back and forth like if I was going to buy it. Just because of the names alone you can't really tell what they're going to smell like but this this is actually my favorite favorite one and we have and if i butcher these names i am so sorry but i am bad with this stuff so we have cabernet neroli i'm actually going to show you this just so you can kind of get a hint but so and you have coconut lime dragon's blood wild watermelon monkey farts and black oak currant and monkey farts was the one that i was most kind of like i have no idea what it's gonna smell like and it smells like pina colada that's what it reminds me of so that one was mysterious and then we have woodsy's oh my gosh this one is an also favorite of mine and i think this one is special to me because these are a lot of the scents that you can mix with other scents kind of like um, my favorite sleep spray from um, Bath and Body Works is lavender and cedar wood so I legit put lavender and cedar wood and the aroma aromatherapy diffuser and I love it but this one is a frankincense, pine needle, cedar wood, bamboo antique, woodland bay, and sandalwood and they're up and it's the same thing. It's got six in it, like the other ones. And I love the little cases. Like, it makes it so much easier. But, yes, that is the essential oil side. And like I said, I will have another video in depth of what I, like, what brands I suggest and what I don't. Um, because there are a lot of brands, like I said, that are not true to, true to scent. Um... This, I found this at Publix on Monday, and I was super excited because I've been seeing on, um, like, Grove and Amazon, and I think there's a few other places, Target and Walmart, I think, also sell Mrs. Myers. But I've been looking at these candles, and I love the cleaning products and all their scents, so I'm like, oh, I really want a candle, but they're not cheap. I can't tell you exactly how much they are I just know that I've gone back and forth and I never buy it but I ended up getting two of these at our Publix 
for $6.29. So if that tells you anything, and that was in the clearance rack, they're pretty pricey. Um, but the other reason why I kept, hesitant, I kept hesitating to buy it is because of the size. Like, it is not... It is not a big candle. It's not tiny, but it's not it's not a big candle. Like that's it compared to my hand. And I have small hands. So I don't know. But it smells amazing. This one's the basil one. And I burned this for about eight to nine hours yesterday. And that's all that was burnt. Like this still has a long time to go. And it says on here, I think it says on here how many... Oh, right here, 25 hour burn time. And for some reason, I feel like it's way more than that, but we shall see. They also have, um, their cleaning line is my favorite, Mrs. Myers. This is the multi-surface and their scents are amazing. I have not found one scent yet that I don't care for. I have, <laughs> in my kitchen, I have like a whole entire counter of cleaning products and all the cleaning products are Miss Myers or the method. And the reason I have so much is because they have so many scents and they all smell good. And like, I don't know what scents I'm going to want to clean with on Monday or Tuesday. And I literally use them all. Um, because it's the same thing with your cleaning products as it is with your perfume and your body wash and your candles and stuff like that. My cat just needs, um, but every day you have a different mood for a different scent. So I love Mrs. Myers and The Method and they do a wonderful job. Next would be floor cleaner. I have used so many different floor cleaners because we have laminate um, wood flooring and my house is very bright. Like my living room window is huge and then right over here is um, our big sliding glass door and then we have our kitchen which has two windows in it. So it's very bright in the living space area. So, and even in the bedrooms, there's like two huge windows in all the bedrooms. So it's very bright. So you can see residue or any streaks on the floor and this leaves none. It leaves it completely just beautiful. And this is the Method Wood Floor Cleaner. And they have a dispensing mop that comes with this. And I will have it linked down below because right now it's in the garage and the pad that cleans the floor is in the washer. So I can't show you that. But I'll have a link to I got it from Target. And it comes with the floor cleaner and the mop. Okay, moving on to makeup now. Here's the thing with the makeup. I have, I have one foundation, but like in my eyeshadows and stuff, I have like three or four palettes and... So I don't know if I want to call it my my favorites or I can't live without because kind of everything that I'm going to show you is stuff that I can't live without. Like if, I don't know how to explain it, like with foundation. If I had to choose one foundation for the rest of my life, it would be this one. And then if it's like face powders, um, since I have more than one face powder, any of those would be fine like if I had to choose one powder it would be one of those three if that makes sense okay so moving on I think I want to do I'll start with face brushes I don't have any eyeshadow brushes with me because I don't have a favorite eye brush like eye makeup brush I have an entire container of them and I just use whatever um, but face brushes I am very particular about and some of these don't have like a number so I'll have to find them and put them in the description bar down below. But the first one is, a, it, the, it's called Crown. That's the company. And I don't even know if you can see any of this. But I use this to like highlight the corners of my eyes and underneath my brow bone. And um, I have another one and I use it for concealer sometimes. But I love this for highlighting the inner corner of my eyes. And like I said, I'll have everything in the description bar below because the lighting sucks. And we've already talked about we need to work on that. And my ring light that clips onto my phone is currently dying right now. So the next one, this is pretty much the only brush that I use for bronzing now. I have two other ones, but for some reason this one, like, I don't like, I don't do the hard contour. I don't. 
I don't care for it. I live in Florida and I think for me it's way too sunny all the time and too bright and the harsh like contouring is too harsh for me. I don't know if it's I don't do it right. I just don't care for it. I just like to bronze up everywhere and this brush is my favorite. It is from Moda Pro. R&L Moda Pro. I don't even know if you can see that because the lighting is so bad, but I'll have it linked down below. And it's the BMX 130 Pointed Blush Brush. I do not use this for blush at all. I use it for bronzing my face. I think it's too big. Like, that's like way too big to be using for blush on my face. For, br for blush, the only brush that I use for blush for the last... <laughs> probably about the last year this is the only one that i use it's the luxie 512 small contouring i use it for blush my face is not i feel like it's not very big so i can't use like massive brushes oh i just threw that okay this one is the luxie 640 pro precision precision tapered brush and that would be my husband banging on the truck. Um, the Luxie brand, I just love it. And we get, I get these all in my BoxyCharm as well as the crown brushes. I get them all. All these brushes actually I've gotten in my BoxyCharm. This one I love for highlighting. I love it. I love it. I love it. Then I just recently bought this one off of Amazon. And I... I bought it for foundation, this Kabuki brush. I bought it for from foundation, but I don't like it for foundation. Like it doesn't work how I wanted it to. And it's the La Mora flat Kabuki brush in T01. No, you can't see nothing really, right? Go lay down. You can't see anything. But I tried it for contouring for bronzing, I tried it for blush. I didn't like it for anything. And what I found that I love is after all my makeup's done, I love like cleaning up. Like this is my final step. Like I'll just brush everything. And I love how this puts everything, like this puts your whole face together. I love this brush for that. Um, okay, moving on to foundation. I have, okay, so in my bedroom, I have my dresser and then I have like a really tall dresser and I use that for makeup. And each drawer is segregated by lips, um, foundations. Um, I have the powdered one, which is the face powders, like your blush and your highlight and all that. And then I have um, an entire drawer for eyeshadows and palettes and stuff like that. Out of all my foundations, I must say, and I should have grabbed it, the, I think it's the Maybelline, and you have the Glow, and then you have the Matte, and I think it's, I'll have it linked down below the exact name, but those two are amazing too, but I get this off of Amazon, and Jaglin Hill brought me onto this years ago. And I have used it every ever since. It's called the Bejoris Paris Healthy Mix Scent Serum. It's um, a gel foundation, 16 hours, radiant, boosting, even revived complexion. It has anti-aging. It's got fruit therapy in it. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. And I have it in the foundation. And I am... 53 beige clear or light beige and then they also have the um, healthy balance matte 10 hour eclat natural healthy glow and it's 52 vanilla and I also get this off of Amazon and they go together and I absolutely love 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 it's kind of pricey I would say, I want to say it's like drugstore price, but it's kind of like your high, higher drugstore price. It's not that cheap, but it's not that expensive either. And that, those are like my ride or die. 
Then I have the Airspun. I've been using this for two or so years now, and I absolutely love it. I only use the translucent, translucent extra coverage, but this is my, I think my fourth container. They last a really long time. I love, there. there's no other setting powder that is ever in my eyes going to beat this. That's my opinion. I tried the Fit Me translucent powder um, that everybody was raving about, and I like it, but I would, I only use this underneath my eyes. I will not use this on my entire face. It doesn't work on my entire face, so that's why if I had to choose, it would be the Airspun because that is great for setting your concealer and your foundation versus this is more setting your concealer, in my opinion, but they're both great, but Airspun is where it's at. Then moving on to Physician's Formula. I love Physician's Formula. I love their highlighters. I love everything about them. It's a very um, go-to brand. Like you, you're not really gonna be disappointed. So if I had to choose like a brand and I could only use one brand, it would probably be Physician's Formula, just because of it's drugstore, so it's affordable and it's great. So I use their bronzer, and this is the only bronzer that I use. I have an entire drawer of bronzers, but I always go back to this one because this one is just perfect. Like I said, I don't like to contour. So this one is great for just bronzing up the face. It smells like tropical paradise. And this is in light, which I think I need to, um, now that it's summer, I need to get the medium. But this is light, and I love it. I also, this is a new a new find for me. I am, I've used Milani blushes for a long time. So it was... This is a new find and it smells the same. It smells like a tropical paradise. And this is from Physicians Formula and it's the Butter Blush in Plum Rose. And I love it. It's more on the natural side. It's not, you can't notice it, but you can at the same time if that makes sense. And my light is just going darker and darker and darker. So I'm hoping you guys can see this stuff because I really don't want to redo this video. Highlighter. I have another drawer, all of highlighters, um, but my everyday that I grab nonstop is the Ofra and it's Rodeo Drive highlighter. It's the only highlighter I use. I use it every day and every once in a blue moon I will switch it up, but this is my everyday go-to highlighter. It's so beautiful and you'd be able to tell if I had brighter lights, but I don't. So, like I said, we will work on the lighting, but it's beautiful. Then we have, that was highlighters. Sorry, I have a whole mess up here. Let's go on to eyebrows. So, for my eyebrows, I love the Brow Power by It, Cos it Cosmetics. One side's got spooling, the other side is like the Anastasia Beverly Hills thing. It's more of the Defire side, I think, versus the other one. What's the other one? I can't remember what the other one's called. But Brow Power by It Cosmetics. I love it. Anastasia Beverly Hills. The Dip Pra Made, Paw Made, and Soft Brown is life. And I need more because it is pretty much gone. Another good one that's um, really, really affordable is the Milani. I got into the Stay Put Brow Color in Medium Brown 03. And it's, I think it's about the same as the Anastasia. I, I love Milani. Milani was a huge shocker and they blew it out of the water from the moment they started there was no need to fix formulas or anything they have always been amazing um okay so that was eyebrows let's move on to eyeshadow so i have the rainforest oc volume 2 eyeshadow palette by tarte and everyday this is one of my everyday palettes 
it has everything for me from the inner corner highlight to the brow bone highlight to dramatic smoky eye to a light day it you can do every range of look in this one palette so I love this palette this and I have I have this one and then three other palettes that are pretty much the same thing you can do any look you want to do with them and you only need that one palette this one I like just because of how easy it is to travel with the other ones are bigger which I'm going to show you right now this is an oldie an oldie oops I dropped the thing this is an oldie but a goodie I love this palette still to this day this palette is another kind of space saver because it has every look that you can imagine to do with the eyeshadows and then it has the um, it has a eye brush too that I forgot to bring out but it's got the eyeliner which we're going to talk about the eyeliner in a minute and then it also has like a secret compartment and inside the compartment there is a highlighter and contouring palettes so that's really cool I love the secret hidden compartments so this is another love of mine this is the Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales Treasure in the Stars by Lorac and I love it and then we have here's another one that was an all-around everyday any kind of look kind of palette and that's the Alice through the looking glass and this is another oldie but it will never get old in my eyes it's beautiful too and this is from Urban Decay and this is the same thing it came with a brush and it's got you can do so many so many eye looks with this palette and I love it and it's also so beautiful and then we have the good old Jacqueline Hill palette and this is the same thing like you just need this palette and you are good to go it has everything that you need in this palette so if you want just one palette that you can do anything with any kind of eye look with the the rainforest one by Tarte is more your browns and your your blacks so you can't really do anything colorful so this one would be more like a dramatic or an everyday, more on the natural side palette. But these three palettes, I mean, you only need one. And if I had to choose between these three, I would have to give it to the Jaclyn Hill palette just because it has just weight, well, I dropped it, just more of a range. And it's absolutely stunning and beautiful. So moving on to, let's move on to primer. I have a few primers. Um, I do, what is it? I think it's Smashbox Photo Finish. I love that one. And what's the other one? Monostat. The Monostat um, I love too. But this one, I don't, this one is just, it kills it for me. And this one is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. Now I have, he's got a few of the No Pores primers, but for some reason the Luminizer one works amazing for me. It, the other ones dry me out a little bit, and this one is just amazing, and I use this every single day. I love it. Um... That's done, that's done, that's done. Let me talk about another Amazon find. This is another Amazon find, and I love it. And this is the Artistry Makeup Brush Color Remover. Gently removes colors, no switch brush. I love this because I use so many colors, and I don't, I don't typically grab, like, a different brush for each color, so I'd constantly wipe it on my pants or, like, a paper towel. And this is a huge lifesaver. So you just get your brush, and this is an oldie, but I've, I've never bought one because I'm like, I can just use my pants or a paper towel, but I had the extra money and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize how amazing and great this thing is, but you'll just swish your stuff around and it slowly just starts removing all your color. And I love it. And it was another 
Amazon treasure of mine. Um, let's go to, I am, I should have went like in order, but I'm kind of all over the place. Oh, another one for the brows. I love, um, the brow gel by Tonya, or it's either Tanya or Tonya Crooks. I love this brow gel a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so moving on to mascaras. Mascaras to me, and this is where it's tricky, I don't have... A ride or die favorite mascara because I have so many mascaras and I love them all but I must say since December since November and December these are the two I've been using and they're the only two that I've been using and it's the Tardist um, Tardist Tarte mascara and I love this I, this has been, until it's gone, I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy another one of these. And then the Urban Decay Provision Bigger Blacker Batter. This mascara is also, I use both of these. This one is also amazing. This one, this one's more dramatic in my opinion. And this one is on a light day, but you get length and you get you get beautiful lashes. It's just not as thick and dramatic as this one. These two together. Mm. Mm. On point. Okay, and another one. This one, I use it on my eyes. And I have used it on my lips once or twice. But this is the Cover FX Shimmer Veil. And I love this. I love this. So it comes with a little, almost like a lip brush but you can use it for eyeshadow and you can put it on your lips as well. And it's just like a, a pop of glitter, shimmer, metallic. It's absolutely beautiful. And this one is amethyst. That's the only color that I have in this one. So I'm not sure about the other colors, but this one is amazing. I love it. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, eyeliners. My ride or die eyeliners, I do have, I have narrowed it down to I cannot live without ColourPop. Um, the only reason, I don't know why I didn't grab it. I think I just grabbed these two because they were already sitting out because I used these two today. But the Unique Moonstruck Precision Pencil Eyeliner, love, I love. It's butter, it's amazing, and this is my ride or die, as well as the Lorac Front of the Line Pro this one is also my ride or die. And this one's the one that came with the Pirates of the Caribbean. Amazing. I can, there's no, nope, no other eyeliners. Nope. Concealer. Um, the Tarte Shape Tape I love, but it's, it's very pricey. The Maybelline Fit Me I go in and out with. Right now, the only one I've been using is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic concealer and corrector. I love this. Like this is so inexpensive and it works. I love it. And concealers, I'm not a big concealer fan. I don't have like the dark circles or anything like that. So I don't really need concealer, but every once in a while for like a blemish or something. But so I don't go crazy with concealer. I think I only have like three concealers. Um, but the NYX HD one works well um I have lips okay so this one I don't want to confuse anybody so ColourPop is my favorite um, lip brand ColourPop kills it for me and I have an entire drawer of liquid lips and lipsticks and lip glosses and I literally need to just dump the whole drawer but I can't put myself to do that but um color pop is is where it's at they are so beautiful and they last so long you don't get like the i call them butthole lips um you don't get any of that where the inside comes off or whatever and i have it in beeper and strip and i need to get a hold of more but these are my rider dies when i'm having a darker day i use the beeper my everyday is strip and I mean I use this so much there's not even 
There's a little tiny bit of writing, but most of the ColourPop writing has come off. And this one is slowly going with it because I use these way too much, way too much. Um, Maybelline. Maybelline has killed it with their Superstay Matte Inks. They are killing it. And I need to get more colors, but so far this is the only colors that I have. And these, I kid you not, I have done a test and I have left. And it doesn't matter what color, they all are the same formula. I've tried them all. I have left them on. I've put them on in the morning and I've left them on overnight and I've slept with my lip. Because even when you take a shower, unless you scrub, it's not coming off. So it's very, very, very easy to just go to bed with your lips still on. And I wake up in the morning and I have to do a little touch up, but it's still there the next morning. So these kill it for me and ColourPop. There is no other, you're not getting me to use any other lippies at all because those are perfect and I love them. Um, That's not makeup related, so that'll be last or another. Okay, so I have, I've used the beauty blenders. I actually, you, you may hate me after saying this, but I have used the original beauty blenders. I have used most of all the other brands of beauty blenders, and they all suck, in my opinion. I don't like the original beauty blenders. I hate them. The only, I guess we're going to race down the street. I'll wait. Okay. The only um, sponges that I like are Real Technique. I, there's no other brand. I have tried them all, trust me, and I do not like any of them but the Real Techniques. And Real Techniques has now made, this is so dirty, but has now made like a carrying container. And I love it, it's just so cute and you don't have to worry about stuff getting all over it. And it is so cute, it's just a little plastic egg love it my final thing and i'm getting off of here so i can go spend time with the husband outside and my daughter who's in her room is this is the flawless hold on baby this is the flawless um there's so much um i'm doing a youtube video okay you want to sit here while i finish this video real quick this is my daughter, Annabella. She looks a hot mess. This is how she comes home from school. Okay, so this is filthy because I use it all the time. But this is the Flawless, and I got this as, at Walgreens, and I'll have to look it up and point it or post it down below. But this thing, it removes all your hair off your face, and I love it. Like, this is my ride or die because we all have that peach fuzz. Yep. and shh, We all have that peach fuzz fuzz but because I am so blonde like in so and it drives me insane so I'll go in the bathroom and I'll just have the sunlight shining through the window and I use this to find all the hairs and it works amazing I love it I will have it posted down below because I don't know if it's just flawless is the company name when I'm a grown-up I will get that <laughs> when I want hair on my face by the time you're a grown-up they'll probably have way cooler stuff than they have now but that is it, you guys. Um, like I said, everything I will list down below because the lighting kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> my light is dying. So I can only work with our living room light. And I'm afraid if I open these, see, it's just too bright to be opening those. So, yeah, that's it for this video. I can't wait to do more of these videos. And hopefully the lighting is better. I'm going I to charge video a thumbs down what no you're supposed to give my videos a thumbs up we're supposed to support no. support no that is it you guys peace love be kind to one another peace, make somebody love, smile <laughs> and i hope you guys have a great rest of the week thank you peace. bye